Pretzels, Hot Toes, Chips, Candy, and Drinks. And now batting number two, Shelby Nelson. And we welcome you into Richland the softball field for another edition of Richland Lady Royal Softball. Brendan Snow live on the Vibe Live Network. Lady Royals taking on Lake Dallas Lady Falcons and swing and a miss to start things off. We'll get you set with your lineups. Leading off for Lake Dallas is Shelby Nelson, the catcher. And she's going to foul that one off to the right side. Pitcher tonight is J.C. Lees. She's been the stud royal pitcher all year long. That one misses for ball one. One and two, two. Shelby Nelson, the catcher. Lee's readjusts and now resets. And the swing and a miss went upstairs for a leadoff strikeout. Brings up the second baseman, number four, Abby Gill. Abby Gill now up to the plates. Not Abby Gale, it's Abby, first name, last name, Kell. She's the second baseman. We're rocking number four, the Lady Falcons team, very young team. A lot of freshmen and sophomores in the roster, and that one's from Lees is too high for ball one. That one in the air, right side, right field, and under it, making the catch for the second out. It's the right fielder, Elaine Bosley, the sophomore. So quickly, two away. For Bella Nidonato. Hits from the right side. Lake Dallas rocking the all black tops and pants. A little kind of metallic look. And she puts this one in the air behind us. Foul territory. And behind the fence out of everyone's reach. Long wait for the umpire to get back set. Lee's pitch. That's fouled off right side. It's going to be 0-2, swing and a miss, 1-2-3 for J.C. Lees in the top of the first on senior day. The tires aside in order, no hits, no runs, no base runners. We'll head to the bottom of the first. Richland 0, Lake Dallas 0, more Royal softball in a moment.
Welcome back, bottom of the first inning. 0-0, and it will be Lady Royals time to bat. Folks, apologize as we have some tough weather that we are dealing with here in the Metroplex for a while now. The wind, everyone knows, it's maybe the worst the wind has been today in a while. As Hill in the boxes, quickly behind 0-2. Hill was faced by Zoe Christensen, the pitcher. It's a lefty hurler, and this one's dribbled to the right side for an infield single for Anissa Hill. Now batting senior third baseman number eight, Betty. Okay. Anissa Hill is on, and that brings up the third baseman, Maddie McKay. Hill in the game Friday when Richland defeated Grapevine 6-3. Hill was 1-4 for four with an RBI and a run scored. And first pitch to McKay misses for ball one. This one fouled straight back by Mc, by McKay. One and one. One and one. Christensen stands back in. Rocks the face mask. Throws with the left, and that one misses a little high. Two and one. Hill, the runner on first. Two one is in there. Evens the count at two apiece. With the wind, a lot of the uh, players elected not to wear the visors, or at least Lake Dallas, everyone is, other than the first baseman, but notice when. Lady Royals took the field. A lot of players electing against the hat or visor because the wind. That one slapped right side. Foul by McKay. We'll do it again. Game time temperature 71 degrees. Cloudy. Right now they've got us at 19 mile per hour winds from the southeast. So those winds are coming from left field. Kind of third base side towards right field. So anything in the air is going to carry a little more to the right. Here's a 2-2, up in the air, right side, foul, slicing away, and off the top of the fence. No play to be made, we'll do it again. Good little meeting between Nelson and a and Christensen. They resume. The pitch is high, way high. Runs the count full. For reference on our video screen, the third base bag is barely on the corner of your screen on that left side down the line. Uh, where we are stationed, the dugout kind of blocks it. Don't get a good view. Rudder goes 3 2, pitch outside. Ball four, and the first two batters have reached against Christensen and two on for senior shortstop Reese Davis. Now batting number 34, the shortstop Reese Davis. Reese Davis is one for four on Friday. You mentioned Lee's pitched all seven innings and threw 135 pitches in Friday's victory. Bunt is down, right back to the pitcher. Christian says one play at first. Both runners advance. The sacrifice works. The sacrifice bunts. Brings up the catcher number 23, Landry McKittrick. Puts two on in scoring position for the catcher and cleanup hitter Landry McKittrick. 
That is she's first pitch swinging. This is high and deep to left. It is going back. It's gone. First pitch, three run shot for McKittrick. Right in front of the Royals scoreboard, and it's three nothing Richland. It's absolute moonshot from McKittrick. The longest ball we've seen hit here this year. And blows it open in the first inning. She hit that ball right to where students and fans park their cars in left field. You can watch the game without paying. Watch the game without paying if you sit in your truck, and a lot of them do. Back their trucks into left field, sit and tail and watch. And that ball came right to them. Here's a Aaliyah Cruz, the first baseman. Fifth hitter of the inning, and just one out. She's quickly ahead 2 0. Oh. Oh, that's in there. Two and one. Long pause. Two one from the lefty. It's inside, but gets the enough of the plate to earn the strike two. J.C. Lee's the pitcher on deck. And that one misses 3-2, and, and Cruz just held back her swing. Payoff pitch, rocking to go, and that's high. Another walk. Issued by Christensen. Gave up an infield single, a walk, a sacrifice bunt, and then a homer and another walk. Been a rough inning. Breaks up number seven, J.C. Lee. For Christensen, who we actually have some pitching stats on. If you let me funnel through my papers and all this wind. As this one slapped in the right center into the gap is going to fall in between everyone. J.C. Lee's a little bloop single. Christensen with a 2.48 ERA in the season, four and five record and 11 appearances, according to what I got from Max Preps today. Race up number two, Jocelyn Pinto. JC Lee gets a courtesy runner, and Jocelyn Pinto comes to the plate with two on, and it's still just one out. First pitch misses four ball. Christensen, 48 innings, 63 hits, 44 runs. Just only 17 of them earned. Only nine walks, and but a low strikeout number as well at 18. Pitching the contact not working today when you got those wind as wild as you do. It was a meeting between Nelson and the pitcher, but now they Finish their conference, come back. This one by Pinto, popped in the air, right side. That's slicing away, it's gonna bounce in fair territory. Coming around, no, they're gonna hold the runners and it'll be a single and the bases will be loaded. That was a tough read for the base runners.
That'll bring up the eighth place hitter, Alexis Cowan. And she's the designated hitter. Not in the field, just at the plate. Right handed hitter, right handed pitcher now with Christensen. Who's coming in for the low. And quickly 0 and 2. Christensen's got to go a little more. Fre red headed freshman with long braided ponytail. That one just misses the Cohen 1 and 2. Bases loaded. One out, and you got Laney Bosley on deck. One, two, that misses. Two and two. Two, two, fouled off the right side. This one in play at the shortstop. They come home for one, and that's all they get. So nobody scores, but the bases stay loaded. That was Katie Pope at short coming home to Shelby Nelson. This brings up Bosley, left-handed hitter. It's first pitch swinging in the air, third base side, and... Bragg is over and has it, and that is the inning, but it's not before some damage is done. There was three runs on three hits, no errors, and they leave three on base. We've played an inning. It's Richland Lady Royals three, Lake Dallas Lady Falcons zero. More Richland softball and Bible Life Network in a moment. And back for second inning action. Katie Poppy leading off against J.C. Lee's 3-0. Lady Royals top of the second. Right-handed pitcher, right-handed batter. First pitch fouled back. Four strike one. Poppy to be followed by Mackenzie Wallace and Elise Cornist. Lee's checking... Her play sheet, seeing how they want to pitch Poppy, the cleanup hitter in the shortstop, and the second one, good contact, fouled back out of play. Oh, it's 0-2 to Poppy. Yeah, that's fouled off the right side. It's two straight balls we've lost out there. We've got someone back behind the fences running to retrieve them. The 
Rio 2 in play, hit at Reese Davis at short. She's got it on a couple of hops, throws the cruise and one away. Start the second inning. Six three for Poppy and Mackenzie Wallace do up. This one in the air, foul. That one almost got to the lights. Might have made, might have made it slightly over the light pole. Lee's doing a great job getting this foul contact. These hitters aren't able to get a good read on them. You know, one righty on righty, and that's fouled off very similarly. The 0-2, that's going to be low. It's too low, 1-2. and two. This one in fair territory. And it's McKay coming in, calling off her pitcher Lee's. Maddie McKay puts it away. Two down. Brings up number 10, left fielder Elise Cornist. And Elise Cornist, the left fielder up with two away in the bottom of the second. Lee's looking to make it back to back quick innings. That one fouled back. And that one does hit the lights. Comes back down right on top of the concessions. Little extra overhead balcony. And the, the lady there is very lucky that that head covering was there. Because that ball would have landed on her head without her knowing. The ball caught the lights and dropped straight back down. But more fun in the foul balls and the fair balls with how many we've had. That's misses is one and one. The one one from Lee's fouled back. This one is able to get into the netting at least. Fans, the scorecard did show Zoe Christensen the lineup card that we got from our PA guys who he got straight from the coaches right before the game. It did have Christensen as the starter, but it looked like low started and only was able to record one out before Christensen came in. Here's a 2-2 to Cornist. Wind's picking up, pitch picked inside for strike three called looking. Another one, two, three inning for JC Lees. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on. We'll head to the bottom of the second. Three nothing. Lady Royals over Lake Dallas. More Richland softball in a moment.
And it's the leadoff hitter, Vanessa Hill. Lead us off in the second inning. First pitch swinging up the middle, right past Christensen, but Keel at second. Able to make the play. So Hill out on the 4 3 and brings up Manny McKay. She walks in that first inning. First pitch. A ball. That one in there for strike. This one in play, but at the shortstop, Poppy, she's got on a high bounce and nice throw to Wallace, quickly two away. On a couple ground outs, brings up Reese Davis. Reese put down the sack punt in the first inning. And almost all for nine, I mean. So Hill reached on the infield single, and then McKay walks and was running on first and second. No rounds for Davis. She butted him over to second and third. And then the first pitch that Landry McKittrick saw was a three run home and her left. And now the first pitch to Reese is high for ball one. One oh, good hit back up the middle, but nice snag by Kell off the hop over to first, and it's a one two three inning for Christensen. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on. We'll head to the top of the third. Richland Lady Royals three, Lake Dallas Lady Falcons zero. More Royal softball on the Vibe Live Network in a moment. Back on top of the third would be Ella Lowe stepping in against J.C. Lees. Lowe, a left-handed hitter. Facing the righty Lees. First pitch up in the air towards center. And it's a hill over to her right. She's got it. And one pitch, one out in the top of the third. Lowe to be followed by Katie Somerville, due up now, and Peyton Bragg, nine hole hitter, due up third. Somerville righty, a little bit of a open stance. Shows bunt, gets it down, Lees has got to field it, on to first, and they 
get the out. Nice job by Kylie Valencia covering first base. Cruz had came in to try to field the bunt. Nice covering. The attempted bunt hit is to no avail. It's a one three. It's a one four on the scorecard, and brings up Peyton Bragg. in the air, but it's going to slice foul out of play. The 1-1's one in there for strike two. Two in the air, not very deep. Cruz is gonna find it next to the bag. And another one, two, three inning for JC Lees. We'll head to the bottom of the third. Richland Lady Royals three, Lake Dallas Lady Falcons zero. Getting ready to start the bottom of the third. They're definitely trying to get this game in quick. Again, the game was moved up. If you're just joining us, the game was moved up from the original 7 o'clock slate. The time up to 6 to try to get this game in before the weather. This is the, the final home game for Lady Royals. They were doing their senior day activities pre-game honoring all their seniors. It's Jason. It's Andrew McKittrick leading off. She takes ball one. McKittrick took a low yard for a three-run homer back in the first. On well, the first pitch she saw, she takes the first two pitches from Christensen here, and it's 2-0. and oh. McKittrick, Cruz, and Lees, the three do up. All three reached in the first inning, and it's 3-0 and oh to McKittrick. Three and zero is just in there. Three and one. That one's a little bit too far outside. And Andrew McKittrick draws the walk. Brings up Cruz. Running number nine, Miley Self. 
mainly self will run for Kittrick. He was at a hit and a run last game too. Here she is laying down the buttons. Sacrifice works. Christensen fields it and hits the covering Kell for the outs. So a runner moves to scoring position with the one out. And J.C. Lee's the pitcher up. Pitcher number seven, J.C. Lee. And we know Lee's can hit. That's why she always gets the double dip. Had a hit on Friday. Had a hit in the first inning here. And pitcher on pitcher, Lee's will take a strike. Feels like it's getting a little darker and windier out here in North Western Hills, Texas. Brendan Snow with you live on the Vibe Live Network. Final softball game and the final baseball game for Richland and Vibe broadcast will be Friday. As Lees was showing bunt, but missed on it. But the runner took third. The ball bounced away, and a nice job by Self taking third. She was on the move anyway, and Nelson didn't squeeze it cleanly. She got in third with ease. Now Lee just needs to kind of put one in the air. Or she put one on the ground right at the second baseman kill. Gets the out at first, but the run scores an RBI ground outs. On the 4 3. How about number two, Joshua Four nothing. Royals and Jocelyn Pinto takes ball one. Pinto take a strike. And Pinto had a single in the first inning. She was last batter that low faced with that little bloop single. Outside, 2 and one This one nicely hit the right, and coming in on us, nice sliding catches Somerville. A little bit of a half slide, half dive, makes the grab and records the final outs. One run on no hits, no errors, nobody left on. We've played three. Virtual Lady Royals four. Lake Dallas Lady Falcon zero. More Royal softball on the Vibe Live Network in a moment. Welcome back for the top of the fourth inning. It's the top of the order 
for Lake Dallas. Shelby Nelson. Nelson right on cue shoots one straight way back for a foul. Nelson struck out in the first inning. She'll be followed by Kell in Dinaminto. 0-1. That's fouled off up right side. Like, they're going to lose a lot of softballs today where they are busy retrieving. A lot of foul balls. It's 0-2 to Nelson now. Oh, two got her looking. Third punch out for Lees. Second one looking. Second time getting Shelby Nelson. And uh, now Abby, Abby Kell. The second baseman who's a nice job in the field. A couple nice plays out there. and She flew out to center. Her first plate appearance, and this one lifted a little bit, but nope, the wind kind of catches it, it dies, and it's caught by the second baseman, Kylie Valencia. Quickly two away. Letting number three, Bella. Dita Nato. Bella Dita Nato, taking my cues from PA man and first pitch from Leeds high for a ball. Dinamanto was also a strikeout victim in the first inning. One-o from Lees. Slap the third. McKay on a hop. She gloves it down to Cruz, and it's one, two, and three again. For J.C. Lees, no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on. We'll head to the bottom of the fourth. Richland four, Lake Dallas zero. More Royal softball on the Vibe Live Network in a moment. Alexis Cowan. Sophomore Alexis Cowan. And the designated players tonight leading off. Eight hole hitter takes ball one from Christensen. Cowan struck out. She was the first batter Christensen faced back in the first inning. The 1 0. And that's in there for strike. Give me Cowan grounded to that fielder's choice. That's right. I she did not strike out. She had that fielder's choice. The out was at home. So, Lady Royals have yet to strike out today, but 1 2 to Cohen here. That'll miss. 2 and 2. Cohen to be followed by Bosley, and then the lineup will turn over to Hill. 4 0 in the fourth. That's way out. Three and two to Cohen. The three two and walks him. Low and in, nowhere close really. And lead off. 
hitter is on for the third straight inning. First. Up number 16, Elani Bosley. Actually, mind that. Not the first, third straight inning. They did not get run in the second. But second time the leadoff. Third time in four innings. Leadoff batter has reached. And this one slapped to left. And that's going to be a base hit for Bosley. Runners on the first and second for the top of the order. Brings up number 11, that's just a hill. Lead off hitter and center fielder Anissa Hill, and she lifts one to left. That's going to be caught by Cornus. And Hill's retired on one pitch. Brings up Maddie McKay. Brings up number eight, Maddie McKay. First pitch to McKay, it's in there, inside corner for a strike one. The Royal Faithful doesn't agree. McKay has a walk and a ground out. Pokes this one foul, and she's behind 0 2. The 0 2 slapped the first, fielded by Wallace, and all she has is the one play to step on the bag. So it does allow the runners to move up to second and third. For Reese Davis, two runners in scoring position and two out. Davis 0 for 1. She had the sack button in the first and then grounded out in the second. This one up the middle. Fielded by Kell. Over to Wallace and they get Davis on one pitch. And that does it for the fourth inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, two left on. Right to the bottom of the fourth. Richland 4, Lake Dallas 0. More Royals Lady Softball in a moment. Top of the fifth Number inning. 16, Katie, Katie Poppy to lead off. <laughs> as the whole. <laughs> Everyone gets a little laugh as PA guy excellently misread Katie Perry. And Poppy, not to be outdone by Katie Perry, the leadoff single to right. First. 
player to reach on JC Lees. She was 12 up and 12 down. She started perfect for the first four innings and Poppy ends it with a single in the four, fifth. And now showing bunt gets it down. Cruz comes in the field it and they get the one. And the runner does advance. Mackenzie Wallace on the sack bunts. Poppy into second and at least Cornus do up and actually They changed it up on me. It's not going to be Cornus. It's going to be Christensen. And strike one in there to Christensen. Big swing and a miss. Oh and two. And a swing and a miss down on strike. Fifth punch out victim for Lee's. First pitch to Ella Lowe in there for a strike one. Lowe flew out the third. Flew out in the third. Flew out to center field. Runner on second. Two away. 0-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Count will go to 0-2. Two fouled off way out in front of that one was low. We Landry McKittrick to lead things off in the fifth part of the inning for the Royals. Lee's coming off the game on Friday. Well, she pitched all seven, struck out 11, and there's another back-to-back -back case to end the fifth. She's up to six punch-outs on the night. No runs, one hit, no errors, one left on. We'll head to the bottom of the fifth. Four-nothing Richland lead over Lake Dallas. More Royal Sop on the Vibe Live Network after this.
of the inning, number 23, Thatcher Landry McKittrick. Well, Andrew McKittrick leading off the bottom of the fifth inning. McKittrick had the three-run home run back in the first inning. And the first pitch she saw from low. Second one misses one and one to McKittrick. McKittrick one for one with a three-run homer and then Waltz in the third and then she had a courtesy runner and that runner came around the score. This one popped up in the center field. Long run almost all the way to the infield. Dino Nato's got it. Four out number one. Brings up number 44, Cruz. First baseman Aaliyah Cruz will come up. She's having a good night as well. At the plate, as well as defensively. At the plate, she's, I guess, officially 0 for 0. Walked in the first inning and then was stranded and had to sack bunt in the third inning to move a runner in the scoring position, which JC Lee's then knocked in. And she takes a strike one there, one and one against Christensen. Cruz, grounded short, fielded by Poppy. The throw to Wallace in time to retire Cruz. Quickly two away in the bottom of the fifth. Here's the pitcher, Lees. One for two with a single and an RBI ground out. This one smoked to third at Bragg. Bounces out of her glove and still has time to recover and get the outs. And that does it for the fifth inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on. We'll head to the top of the sixth. Richland four, Lake Dallas zero more. Royals baseball on the Vibe Live Network in a moment. And back for the top of the six in North Wichita Hills, Texas, where the for a second there the wind calmed down for a moment. Forgot it's been 20 plus mile per hour winds, but back in action. JC Lee's in the mound against Katie Somerville, and there's a swing and a miss for strike one. Somerville to be followed by Bragg, and the lineup will turn over to Shelby Nelson. The eight nine one Somerville grounded out. In the third, and actually, was, she attempted to get the butt single in the third, and 
There's a nice job by Lees hopping on it and through the first to a covering Kylie Valencia. One and one to Somerville. Kind of shows that running bun again, but pulls back for ball two. Two one, and that's a strike on the again attempted drag bunt. Two two from Lees. Swing and a miss. Another punch out for JC Lees. Again, the rise ball. Been a nice strikeout pitch for Lees today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven right strikeouts. Right. For Lees. Again, coming off an 11 strikeout outing on Friday. And then she also walked three batters and. Gave up a home run, gave up three runs total, only two of them were earned. Tonight it's been masterful. As this one slapped in the center, but Hill's got a read on it, sprinting to her left, and quickly retires Bragg. And to the top of the lineup with Shelby Nelson, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That brings up number two, Shelby Nelson. This one up in the air. It's gonna looks like it's gonna stay in play. See who's called it. No one calls it, and it drops <laughs> right in front of Lee's and on base is Nelson. I, no one could uh, make up their mind on who was calling it. Heard a, a couple. I got it calls. Lee's was leaving it to her fielder. She did not have the interest in fielding it. I don't know if she was waiting for Cruz to make the play or who. According to the Game Chain Game Changer Classic stat stream I'm using where someone in this building, I think it's or someone out here that is, I think it's one of the coaches for Richland is running a, a, a live game score. They rule an error on Maddie McKay. So we'll call it a E5 as well. And Abby Kell up and she's quickly down 0-2 after fouling a couple off. First error of the ball game on either team. Again, just one hit for the Lady Falcons and that misses Ball one, one hit, and they've had one player reach for an, via an error, and that's it. One, two, that slapped left side. Reese Davis way deep in the hole has it, but no play to be made. That's going to be an infield single for Abby Kale. Runners on first and second with two away. And up number three, Bella Didonato. Didonato up to the plate. Didonato 0 for 2. But so was Nelson and Kell before her. First pitch high. Ball one. Foul straight back. Yeah. 
in the bottom of sixth, it'll be the bottom half, bottom third of the order for the Royals. Jocelyn Pinto, Alexis Cohen, and Delaney Bosley. And that one fouled straight back by Didonato. Lee's a strike away from getting out of it. And Donato steps out. They're waiting for Lee's for a while. Lee's does take a little bit more time in her delivery and set up between pitches while Christensen on the other side has really been moving with speed. That one high ball too. That one low, three and two. And with two outs, runners can get a head start, three, two. Two outs, runners on first and second, four, nothing ball game. And for the first time today, the Lady Falcons threatening here in the top of the sixth inning. Three, two, that's too low. Loses her. And the walk loads them up for the cleanup hitter, Katie Poppy. Poppy. Poppy first pitch swinging up in the air, drifting the foul territory. Cruz calling for it, and she's got it. And they're out of the inning on the foul pop up the third. It was. No runs, one hit, one error, three left on. Led right to the bottom of six. Richland, Lady Royals four, Lake Dallas, Lady Falcons zero. More Royals softball in a moment. Bottom of the sixth inning, Jocelyn Pinto be followed by Alexis Cohen and Elaine Bosley. 7-8-9 part of the order here in the bottom of the sixth. Four nothing ball game. And strike one to Pinto. Pinto one for two with a single and a fly out to right. That's too low, one and one. Slapped up the middle, in between short and second, and a base hit for Pinto. Keeping the ball low on the ground. Or a leadoff single. Brings up designated here, Cohen, and see if they're playing bunt here. Brings up number 13, Alexis Cowan. First pitch to Cowan in there for strike.
Runner goes, swinging a miss, but in there safely is Pinto with the stolen base. Owen two to Cohen, the runner on second. Nobody out. And I was just looking through. It was a lot. I've got a lot of green on this Richland scorecard. Yeah, it's Cohen, little half swing. Goes and she's down on strikes. First time tonight a Royal, a Lady Royal has struck it out. Comes in the bottom of six. Here's Alani Bosley now, but as I was getting to, everyone has. Reach base safely for the Royals except for Reese Davis. His first pitch to Bosley is high for ball one. Uh, Anissa Hill had a single. Madden McKay had a walk. Davis again had a sack bunt, but other than that, a couple ground outs. McKittrick's reached twice. Uh, Cruz has reached on a walk. Lees and Pinto both have hits. Cohen reached on a walk, and Bosley reached on a hit. A couple innings goes. That one slaps and nicely caught by Peyton Bragg third baseman on a, on a lofter and had to come forward and take a tough catch. So the lineup flips over to Anissa Hill, the leadoff hitter, coming up for the fourth time tonight. One for three, a single in the first inning and scored on the Bikishrick homer and, and she's grounded out the second and flown out the left. Takes ball one. <laughs> right, this one fouled back over my head. One to one to Hill, the leadoff hitter. One one that slap down third baseline and Peyton Bragg was playing in and it scorches by her. Pinto held up at third, but getting all the way to second was Hill. Let's see if they call want to call that a single or a double first, but it's runners on second and third now with two outs and Manny McKay up for the plate. We'll call it a single for Hill and then reach second on the defense throw in the third. First pitch to McKay and therefore a strike. Mitchell McKay had a walk in the first inning, grounded out to short and then grounded out to Wallace at first. That ball skips in the dirt in front of the plate, one and one. Top of the seventh, it'll be five, six, seven for Lake Dallas as McKay puts this one in play to the shortstop Poppy to her left. She's got it. Makes the throw to Wallace and retires the side. And the ground outs for McKay, and that does it for the top of the sixth inning. No runs, two hits, no errors, two left on. we we'll to the final frame, top of the seventh. Richland 4, Lake Dallas 0. More real softball on the Vipe Live Network in a moment.
And we're back for the top of the seventh. JC Lee's looking to close it out. She's been spectacular through six. And first pitch to McKenzie Wallace has fouled off for strike one. Wallace 0 for 1 with a popped out to third and had a sack bunt back in the fifth to move Poppy over and try to set up a Lady Falcons scoring chance, but they didn't come to flourishing. And that pitch gets in and hits Wallace. So Mackenzie Wallace didn't seem to take much of a beating from it, but she's hit by the pitch and on first base. And brings up the pitch, the pitcher Christensen. That's misses four, ball one. Fouled straight back, one and one. Wind coming in strong and a little colder. But regardless, it's been a nice house in the final home game for Lady Royals. Home stands look great. The road stands not as much. Lake Dallas, Corinth City, such district schools located in a little ways out there. It is a strike two to Christensen. So the roadside of the bleachers didn't fill up as much, but full home side. This one slapped to the third base side. McKay's got it. They go to second. Valencia for one to return the first to Cruz. No, ball gets away, but nice job by McKittrick backing up, and Christensen goes nowhere. So reaching on the fielder's choice. Brings up number 15, Ella Lowe. Brings up Ella Lowe. One out and a runner on first. Big swing and a miss by Lowe for strike one. Two teams will meet again on Friday in Corinth. for their final game. The 0-1. That's going to catch the outside part of the plate. 0-2. Lady Falcons, or Lady Royals, 18-7-1 record. Looking for win number 19. And can round it out with 20 on Friday. Lee's got her looking down on strikes for the second time. Ella Lowe, an eighth punch out for Lee's. And a one away from putting the ribbon and bow on this one. That brings up number one, Katie Somerville. Katie Somerville, the last hope for the Lady Falcons, Somerville. Out trying to bunt for a hit in the third and struck out in the fifth or in the sixth. Here she is swinging and way behind on the fastball. Oh, and one. Lee's ready, was waiting. And again, throws it right by Somerville for strike two. Somerville cannot catch up. Lee's ready. The 0-2. Slapped a right and a base hit. Bosley has it in right. And what a bounce back of that bad by Somerville. Could not catch up at all on those first two pitches. Way behind, but great adjustment. Brings up number seven, eight, eight, Bragg. To slap it to opposite field for a single. Christensen. 
was the runner, but soon it looks like she got a courtesy runner. We didn't get a name on. And that's who's at second with Somerville at first in the nine hole hitter Bragg at the plate. And Bragg launches one in the center field. Hill's got to go back, but Hill finds it. She's got it, and that does it. Back, another F8 for Peyton Bragg, and that does it for the Richland Royals home season. And what a great ending it was. A 4-0 victory over the Lake Dallas Lady Falcons. We're going to wrap things up really quickly here as we got to get out here because this weather feels like it's about to get bad. And I've got a lot of cleanup and wrap up to do. But again, a 4-0 victory for the Lady Royals here on Senior Night. J.C. Lees goes the full seven innings and gives up just three hits. Strikes out eight. And has herself a masterful final home game. Again with the win, the Royals were advanced to 19-7-1 on the season with another game on Friday against these Lady Falcons in Corinth. And that's where they'll look to pick up win number 20 and get ready for the postseason, sitting in a good position. Their overall record, this team's been hot. Great pitching again from Lees and getting enough hitting from Really, everyone contributed. Like I said, everyone got on base today except for Reese Davis, but he contributed with a sack bunt and some good plays. That's short. Well, that's going to do it for us here. Myself, Brendan Snow, and I thank my QA Rosie and Jason West of Vibe for stopping by, and of course, always Suna for helping us out and making sure our broadcasts are on top of things. Thank you for tuning in to another Lady Royals victory for nothing over Lake Dallas. And we'll catch you on Friday for some baseball action. Have a great week.